Basil, what am I gonna do? He wrote farts on my house. I can't just accept that. I have to do something about it. It's a huge deal. I don't live in a potion of farts. Does it smell like a potion of farts to you? No, that's not enough. I have to get revenge. And I know just how to do it. If he thinks he's going to get away with putting farts on my house, he's got another thing coming. Two can play at the prank game, Tetra Flash, if that's even your real name. We're going to play a little prank of our own on our good friend Tetra. Oh, he's going to regret putting farts on my house. Huh. Yes, right here should do nicely. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Farts. Now, when this goes all the way over here, <laughs> the piston will extend and make a sound. It'll drive him mad while he's over here. He'll be wondering what that sound was. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach him. <laughs> All right, I am going to repair my tools, and then I'm going to head out on an adventure to get more iron. I need more iron for another project. Now, I have quite a bit that I have mined, but I probably will need more. So I'm going to gather all the resources, all the resources I need before attempting to build... Uh, the next thing I want to build, which is not going to be the incantation of fertilization. It's going to be the dealt it, smelt it. Uh, I want to make an auto smelter thing that will magically smelt items and teleport them into your inventory. So that's what we're going to be working on today. I was on my way to go mining. And I found this guy in my boat. What are you doing in my boat? <laughs> are you trying to row away? All right, you're coming with me. We're off to get lots and lots of coal. Okay, buddy? <laughs> you're not going to get mad at me, are you? Just as long as I don't make eye contact with you, you'll be good, right? Look at us. A couple of cards. Okay. Let's go get some coal. What do we have here? Some emeralds. A gift from Tetra. And I love it. So I'm going to take these, go over to his villager place. I've already got some books in my inventory. I've already got some books in my inventory. And we are going to go shopping. Ooh, look at that. Delicious. I need Feather Falling 4. Uh, so let's turn the farm off. And make our way over to Tetra's place. Welcome to Tetra Apollos. T Tetra. T. T. 
Tetropolis. Tetropolis. There he is. Doing Lord knows what. What the hell is he doing? I mean, he must be throwing stuff away that he doesn't need. He's already got netherite gear. So we've got sharpness, fortune three, silk touch. I might buy a silk touch book. 14, not bad. Might buy a silk touch book because I need the... I need silk touch on my axe instead of fortune. Or at least get silk, silk touch on an axe. Uh, I might buy a unbreaking three as well. I want to buy some mending for my silk touch. I have... I have a different silk touch in my ender chest. Efficiency, projectile, fire blast protection. Oh, protection four. That's nice. Knockback. Looting three. Wait, where's feather falling? There it is. This is what we need. Quite expensive, but worth it. I'm going to go combine those. I, I wonder how much it'll be to combine this with the book. Let's find out. Hi. Sorry, did I scare you? All right. <clears throat> I'm shopping. With all the lovely emeralds you gave me. I will, I'm enjoying to my heart's content. Finally, feather falling. I love it. Oh, I don't have to worry about falling. Now when we fight the ender dragon and he launches us way up into the sky, we'll fall down and be like, ha that tickled. Sharpness 5 is 49? You can do better than that. I'll stick with Sharpness 4, thank you very much. I'll sooner just enchant another Sharpness 4 sword. In fact, that's what I have my spawner for. You better bet your sweet bippy I'm going to do that. I do want a Silk Touch. Uh, I'll take an Unbreaking. Sure. And I have, I have a stack and four. One Mending Book. Two Mending Books. All right. You threw a book at me? Ooh, sharpness five. Yay. Also, don't tell Tetra, but I totally snuck over here and grabbed a lot of leather. But don't worry. I used my own wheat to breed the cows back. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Okay, welcome to Redstone with Careless Rex. Probably should have just called it Redstone with Rex. I put a piston here. And then I put a piston here. There it is. I found you. I want to power that block. And now I want to power that block. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure I just had a repeater into that. And then for sh no, I had I had a repeater into this one. And redstone into this one. Good. Now I need more room this way. I would very much like it to be here. If I remember correctly, we had a dropper that went this way and then I had a dropper that went this way and then a dropper that went down for this version a dropper that goes down and then a hopper that goes into here like so I need my button my buttons to, to test I will put a piece of kelp. Now, if I did this right, the piece of kelp should end up up here. Yep, and if I press it again, kelp should end up down here. Ha-ha! I would like a button here. I'm going to place that right now. Good. Now, we want a block here. And here. Compare it. Compare. Oh, I did it. Comparator. Redstone. 
repeater. I'm pretty sure I can just put the dust here. Ta-da! No. Ta-da! Which means this one has a comparator here. And... We... Put that there. Redstone goes... Like that. Oh, I forgot. I need a repeater. Now, if I did this right, which I always do right, you press the button. I did it wrong. Oh, that's because it was not like I thought. Okay. Understood. Now it's right. Because I always do it right. So if I step in here, boom, I go all the way to the top. Press the button. Now it will elevate me down, which is not elevation. That's the opposite. Whatever. Press the button again. I can switch. I press that button. That torch goes off. And then I just repeat that process. Perfect. Now, if I am not mistaken... I am a genius! Ta-da! It's easy, just like that. And it's all gone. It's... Where did it go? My stuff! It's down here. I put it down here. Nobody panic. I was just acting. I made a way to get down here using a redstone. And now I have an elevator that goes up and down because I didn't want to do the thing I did over there. I wanted to do something different, a little... Something a little more compact. Uh, I put... I moved all of my... Most of my stuff. I moved down here because I was running out of room and I didn't have any other place to put my stuff. I just kept getting stuff and it was filling my chests to the brim. So I decided to move down here, uh, move most of my stuff down here and I want to keep, woo! I want to keep most of my valuables here and I'll keep this here. But let me tell you of the plan. Over in this area, I'm going to be putting the magical smelter. The uh, you dealt it, you smelt it. I'm going to put that right here and it will magically smelt my items. It, woo. I'm looking forward to that. But before we do that, I'm going to make this place look much better than what it looks like now. This is, whew, this is not going to do. I'm going to need to get to work making this pretty. I'm going to prettify it. That it. That is a word. Believe it or not, it's a word. I invented it. Prettify. Yep, I'm going to see you when I'm done with that. I have a confession to make. I lost some footage and some of it got a little bit corrupted. There will be a big time jump here, but I have finished this room more or less. I'm going to be putting some stuff over this way. I don't know what yet, but I plan on expanding this way. And I finished the smelter. I suppose we could give it a try. What do I have here? Iron ore. Don't I have... Here, I have, I have some raw iron that I can test this on. Now, I have already done tests. I know it works. There's no need to be nervous. I'm going to place this here. And we're going to cast the spell. Now, keep your eye on the prize right here. And boom! Dealt it, smelt it. The mortal that hath dealt it shall in turn smelt it. Done. Now the cool thing about this is it magically 
just starts appearing in your inventory. And we will be seeing that shortly. It does take about 30 seconds, I think, for, for items to start appearing in your inventory. But any minute now. There we go. Look at that. And it'll just keep going until I get to 64. It takes about... I did time it. And it takes about a minute and seven seconds altogether. Which is a little longer than I wanted. I was trying to make it faster. I'm sure there are ways to make it faster. But we'll see about all of that stuff in the future. I would like to make bigger and better farms and all that stuff. We will look at all of the available options when the time comes. But there we go. We've got our stack. If you come behind this painting, you can go down. And I'll show you the redstone. That sends a signal down below. I'll show you the basics and then we'll foop to my redstone world and I'll show you in more detail what's going on. But here I have, what do you call it, bamboo. I have that creating fuel for me. And the fuel just, once one of these grows up to the observer, it gets pushed off. And there you go. There you have it. You get some bamboo. It's free. It's automatic. It happens while I am doing other things or AFK. And I have, I have a decent reserve. And you'll see if I manage not to bump my cart, it has already replaced what was used to smelt. I believe one stack of items costs uh, four stacks of bamboo. I believe that's how it works. But let me swoop on over to the redstone world and I will show you the, the secrets, the secret sauce. And just like that, here we are in the redstone testing world. This is pretty simple. What I did is placed the book as per usual. You're familiar with this from previous episodes, I'm sure. But the comparator block or comparator can detect change states or what have you between a block. Check that out. So this is going through here. And when it is, when, when the, the signal is strong enough, aka when we have flipped to the correct spell page, it will send a signal down this way, which will power this block. Now, this block is powering two activator rails with a hopper minecart in between. The hopper minecart is locked when it's on top of a powered activator rail. When this goes off, the hopper will begin to pull the items from the top, and it pulls items really quickly. We know this hopper minecarts are notorious for that, and that's awesome. But much like hoppers, it'll just take the entire stack if it's out in the open. This is between two so that it descends twice as fast as it normally would. This means the stack gets here twice as fast. And once the stack is there or enough items are there, this ends up leaving. This gets powered. So this same exact signal gets sent down vertically using alternating torches down to here, which in turn lights this, a, a, a timer here. This timer, it should be be just enough time, but it may be a little too much time. I could probably tweak this to be more exact, but it gives enough time for enough items to come through here that all of these get filled. That's what's most important. You need enough for all of them to get filled, and by the time it comes back, it it can there's enough items in there to send it on its way again and fill these all up. Otherwise, some of them won't get used. That's what this is for, to delay the time it takes for this to activate. It's There's probably, again, there's probably better, more efficient ways to do a lot of this stuff, but this is how I've decided to do it. This is how I know how to do it. Now, lastly, in order to get the, the, the items up, what you do is I have down below 
a you'll see that there is a what do you call it an observer there which is not important because I'm not using that I was going to try and do two droppers but but two droppers doesn't work really the idea is there we'll get rid of those it sends the signal down here activates this piston which pushes these two observers and that creates a uh, a, a very fast tick so you'll hear the dispenser go ta 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 and it's constantly shooting items out now because the items will be going into a solid uh block with no air it has nowhere to go but up. It just keeps traveling up until it eventually gets to you. If I switch a few pages, you'll see that this begins to activate. And you hear the ticking of the, the dropper. And this will keep going back and forth until everything is distributed evenly. And because it's 16... Items, it smelts, just this super smelter smelts things a stack in like 48 seconds. All the other shenanigans I have going on here adds a little extra to that, but I like the flavor win. This super smelter is actually really easy design. You can type in super smelter and one of the first results will be this. If you search Google, there is a guy named Shulkercraft or Shulkcraft. I'll, I'll put a link in the description and uh, I'll, I'll put a little picture here. You're, you're probably familiar. He does a lot of tutorials and I don't think he created this super smelter. I could be wrong, but he does a really good job of a, a tutorial, showing a tutorial on how to build it. I just followed that because it was simple and I know it works. If I, if I want to change this though, it should be easy to do at some point. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for watching. And I will see beautiful, wonderful people again next time. If you made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you subscribe, that would just be the greatest thing since sliced bread. So thank you so much for hanging out. And I'll see you next time. Love, peace, and chicken grease.